Years ago, when I had to climb out of a glacial crevasse up an 80-foot overhanging ice wall, I was trying to make my way out. I was scared, I was overwhelmed, I didn't have the right gear, and I was making good progress, but frankly, I was starting to doubt I was gonna make it out. I was starting to doubt I had the right equipment or the right stuff to make it out. And I started thinking, you know, maybe I just don't have it within me. But then I realized I was climbing not just for me, but for my partner, Mike, as well. I owed it to him to try and get out of this crevasse to let his family and everyone else know what happened to us. And so I started climbing more so for Mike. I started trying to do to honor what he had done to help save me in that climbing accident. I also started to do it to honor the things I learned from my dad and other mentors in my life. They put a lot of valuable lessons into me. I wanted to try and honor that by applying them in this desperate situation of climbing out of the crevasse. And also I knew that by trying to climb out for those others that I would get a more of a future, that I would make it through this tough situation and climb out of the crevasse and I would create possibilities for the future. And by thinking about all the people that I was climbing for besides myself, that's what gave me the resilience and the strength to endure those worst moments. And I encourage people during my presentations to think about where their resilience comes from. Because if you know where your resilience comes from, you'll be able to tap into it that much quicker when tough times come. And you'll be able to get engaged with the problem and start acting to resolve it. And that's what's gonna help you get through the tough times. It's not just for yourself, but for the other people that mean so much to you.